Hello, and thanks for joining us for the Bull Run News Show. Did you know that it's the last week of the second quarter? Only two more quarters left in this year. Let's start by getting a check of the weather. It'll be mostly sunny the next few days. Thursday will be the nicest day with a high of 51 degrees. It will then cool down, and over the weekend, we can only expect highs in the upper 30s. There's a chance for a rain and snow mix on Monday, but it's still too early to say for sure whether our snow lovers will have any luck next week. This week in history, the poet Edgar Allan Poe was born on January 19, 1809 in Boston, Massachusetts. Later in 1844, he moved to New York and became extremely famous for his poem, The Raven. He is now known for his incredible poems and amazing books. Today's book talks are from Amanda and Lizzie. Amanda will share about a series called Babysitting Nightmares. Lizzie will share about a book called Wonder. Hello everyone. I hope you're having a good day so far. Today I'm going to be talking about four books, a series that will be turning into a television show very soon. I'm very excited. So it's called The Babysitting Nightmares. And it's basically about four girls, and they go, run into some paranormal ac activities during babysitting. So I really en enjoyed these uh, four books, and yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna re show read the titles for you really quickly. So, and the author is Cat Shepherd, I believe. Yeah, Cat Shepherd. Um, so the first one is The Shadow Hand, the next one is The Phantom Hour, Twilight Curse, and then The Vampire Doll. So these sound super cool. Make sure to check them out and have a good day and stay safe. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Lizzie and I'm doing a book talk on Wonder. It is about this boy named August. He goes by Augie and his last name is Pullman. And it's about his adventures at a new school. He has a face deformity, so there are kids in that school that are really mean to him. The main kid that's mean to him, kind of like the leader of the group, is called Julian. Um, and Julian is really mean to Augie just because of his looks and because he gets good grades. Along the way, Augie becomes friends with a kid named Jack Will and a girl named Summer. And I think it's a really great book because it just shows you how some kids can actually act. Obviously, kids shouldn't bully other kids, but it is it does happen. And I just think it's amazing how this author captured that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing, Amanda and Lizzie. If you'd like to share about a book on the news, ask your teacher how to share a video on our Flipgrid. We'd love to hear about what you're reading. This week's focus for the Positivity Project is perseverance. Perseverance means you complete what you, spar what you start despite obstacles. You never give up. People with this strength think, I can do this. I am not going to give up. Or hard work pays off. Martin Luther King Jr. talked about perseverance when he said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Monday, January 18th was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. This day is celebrated on the third Monday of every year to honor the King's birthday on January 15th. Martin Luther King Jr. was a leader of the civil rights movement. You may remember his familiar speech, I Have a Dream. Wednesday, January 20th is Inauguration Day. This day celebrates the inauguration of Joe Biden as the 46th president. 
He will serve a four-year term with Camilla Harris. She will begin her term as the first female vice president ever. The Washington Capitals began their season last week. So far, they've won twice against the Buffalo Sabres, but lost to the Pittsburgh Penguins in a shootout. Last weekend in the NFL, the Packers beat the Rams, the Bills beat the Ravens, the Chiefs beat the Browns, and the Buccaneers beat the Saints. This weekend's games will determine which two teams will play in the Super Bowl. Our PTA is hosting some great upcoming events. In January, there will be an online raffle. How many layers can you wear? Take a picture of yourself wearing a bunch of layers and post it on the PTA Facebook page. We'll run ES PTA. There's one raffle prize for kindergarten through third grade, one for fourth through sixth grade, and one for staff. Remember to ask your grown-ups first. There will also be a virtual movie night Friday, January 22nd, 7 to 9 p.m. We will be watching Seoul virtually as a bull run community. A Blackboard rink link will be emailed on the day of the event. They are also selling movie snack packs, one popcorn bucket, two bags of popcorn, two choices of candy, two, cho two choices of drink, just for, fa just for $10. It will be ready to pick up on Thursday, January 21st. Orders can be placed online. Look for a link sent out in emails to parents from Mr. Penzler or on the Bull Run PTA page. This week, we have a riddle for you, and the answer will be revealed during our next Bull Time Stories event this coming Monday, January 25th at 7 p.m. Don't miss it. You can find the link in Charter's Hangout Google Classroom. Okay, are you ready? Here's the riddle. What starts with a P, ends with an E, and has thousands of letters. Thank you for joining us for the Bull Run News Show. Stay safe, and we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.